Maestro Schalte started his career as a concert pianist. I haven't played it once already. Uh, right. Right. Please. One, two. It was his relationship with Pariah that, after 30 years, tempted him back to the keyboard for this Bartok and a recording of Brahms' variations on the St. Anthony Chorale. I admire this boy, he's such a fantastic musician. Now let's hope, let's hope the best. We're playing now two years, running together with great joy, and I like him immensely. He's one of the most talented of the younger generation. He's a wonderful, natural musician. And I think he doesn't dislike me, so therefore we're playing together. One. We all do different. I feel that you do it faster, I do it slower, and he does the slowest. Yes. And right. well, that doesn't matter because all I can do, he can yeah, start. That's, it. that's okay. But then it's okay. I think, not that. Yes, you want me to do it as fast as you're doing? Ta -dum, ta -dum. I don't mind, but. We have it as a mutual understanding. If we disagree, then we we'll play both ways and see, and then we come automatically the right decision because we are both musicians with ears. And you can hear, I know, it should be like that. And I'm not stubborn, neither he. We are not stubborn at all. What yeah. happens is that we get slow in this. You know what is? And then move. Not too soon. Look at everything is rippling now. Let's watch that one. Play piano, play piano, play piano. Playing chamber music with Sir George is a wonderful well, experience, and uh, because of his experience and his knowledge of the score, he, in a sense, dominates the uh, sessions. He knows what he wants, and he goes about it, but he allows you a lot of freedom, and he really does accept the give and take of chamber music. He'll play a phrase, depending on the way you've played it, and uh, will take a lot of things into account. Let's listen. It's not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. We played first tapes then. First tapes. All right. Go ahead. All right. And so to the playback room, the first of many visits, here to listen to their work on the opening movement of the three. You know, to turn the pages is already an accomplishment. <laughs> it is. Okay. Ready. For the first time, they are their own audience. With CBS record producer Steve Epstein, they examine each take of the recording from the beginning. One of the main difficulties in this Bartok uh, sonata are the rhythmic complexities. It's constantly changing meter, changing pulse, and uh, demands a kind of concentration for rhythm and for uh, nuances of rhythm that are uh, very subtle and very keen. And Schulte is amazing in these. His rhythmic sense is absolutely spot on, um, and he's always right about it. I had a, a funny experience, actually, when we were doing the Brahms. Uh, there's a fast movement in the Brahms 
that it seemed to me at the first rehearsal or second rehearsal that we were doing it that he was rushing it uh, because it's very tricky and uh, demands a lot of um, technical expertise and I, I just had the feeling that it was being rushed so I said to him maestro uh, are we rushing here he says well it's possible but I don't think so but he said, it's possible we tried it and we left it in the evening he came with his metronome and he said Murray would you please try this place again with the metronome and we tried it with the metronome and sure enough I was wrong I was slowing it down <laughs> Keep that one, that's very nice. That's very nice. It better. Slow, slow down a bit no, that doesn't matter. Very nice. I won't play it better, ever. Okay. Slow down in one number only, 24. Doesn't matter. What's that? Achando. To work with Sir George, to listen to him play the piano, is a, a great thrill. Um, you meet him and you're meeting a man who appears to be in his early 60s, not 75. Uh, and then when you work with him, uh, you're experiencing the vitality of a man in his late 20s. It's quite astounding. That's the pace faster. Yeah. And then slowing down. No. Not too much, it's too slow. It became not too slow. The tempo primo just on the 20. Hey, pop, pop, I, I was wondering about whether that was too soft, the tempo one, because we're really at the, the kind of climax. It's, I think it's fortissimo. Yeah, but it if, I, if I play violin more than that, I have some of the long notes that is just violin. Like I think that's good. Big. I think it's good. You want wild. the long notes, so what you have it? Wild. <laughs> you, know, you have it. You uh, have it. And then, then we can go men of forty. Okay, Marie, watch that. It's too heavy. The contrapoint more than yeah. the melody. Okay. Yes, yeah. 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 hold maybe here. here. Hold here. Yeah. That's it. Because I can't get from tari pop puri pop piru pop puri pop. All right. So that is good luck for us. Good luck all of us. That's difficult. That's 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 I think I'm a bit early in the five eights. Which one, David? Digga, 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 digga. This is just a three, two, yeah. and six, okay. three, yeah. two, five. Yeah. I'm a bit early there. Yeah, for me. Para, bira, 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 para, bira, 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 Yeah, but I didn't find, I didn't find anything wrong with that. Okay, slow. What was there? What was wrong here? Oh yes, who is playing? A minute. This one comes here. Para, bit, bit, pa, pa, ta, ta, pa, ta, ta. The sixteens are too soft. Finishing the piece. It's not even much louder, it's just a bit clearer. The session moves on to the second movement and Bartok's famous evocation of night and the natural world. Then the first piano begin is nostalgic, beautiful. Very far away and beautiful and desolate. So, and I take over the same, but a little simplified. But there's an answer. And the percussion going on this. Shh, shh, 